don't know if we're going to actually end up where we thought we were going. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we've been. And we think our running lights, at the very least, are out on the trailer. Maybe more. But are we stopping? My wife just informed me that it's uh, 33 degrees right now. So we are in Monado, uh, near San Diego. Today is an interesting day because uh, this day I am picking up uh, another RV. Uh, this RV we're going to use to take on a quick road trip. We don't want to pull around Laverne. She's so big. She's so big. Uh, but we do want to take something small and light that we can just jump into some quick spots. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. There it is. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Nice. So yeah, this looks pretty dang cool. It is 23 feet, 23 feet. Laverne is 18 feet. So that's, you know, not bad, about five feet longer than Laverne. Thank you, Senator. Yeah, this is the inside. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. There, I'm, I'm like, we don't even need the bunks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, we can pretty... with just one, one bed. Well, I got the other RV, and so far it is so much easier to pull than Laverne. There is like no drag whatsoever on this thing. Uh, keep on thinking that I've got 40 feet behind the truck, but it's like it's only 20. I gotta remember that I'm a little bit more nimble than I was before. So that said, going 55 in the slow lane is just Laverne speed, you know, so. So I made it home. Uh, it was not harrowing. I'm finally here. And uh, Kat is seeing it for the first time. What do you think, Kat? I like it. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's not livable, but it's totally travelable, and that's what it's for. We have our living RV and our travel RV. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, so this is, this is home for three days. I think we could do it for three days. Oh, absolutely. I could do this easily for, for three days. I could do this for Four days, weeks. really four days. Really I could days. do this for a few weeks, easily. Three nights. But uh, so I'll take three days. We'll, we'll do a short trip. They put a little, uh, they put a little gift back. That's so nice. Me. So nice. Now, one thing the guy told me is uh, if the stairs aren't completely balanced left to right, the door won't shut. Um, so it's not balanced completely rest or right right now, which is fine. But uh, I didn't know that about these kind of stairs, the kind of stairs that go up in there. That's up. They have to be like perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. Per perfectly. Do we have something which, to balance it? Oh yeah, he's got all the uh, leveling stuff Okay, in there. good. All right. Good night. Sweet no-go, no-bo. No so I'm here at Seha uh, Tires and Brake to get my right front passenger tire uh, patched. Apparently I had a little nail inside of the, the tread. And before we take this, you know, nearly a thousand mile trip, I figured it'd be best to have that fixed. While we're at it, my brakes were starting to squeal, so I had them uh, go ahead and replace the front brakes. Um, hopefully this doesn't delay us too long. It's already 2.30 or so, and Kat is just getting off of work in about 15 minutes. Uh, so she'll be here in about an hour, and we're all good to go by then. If not, we're a little delayed, and it'll show up around midnight rather than around 11 o'clock or so. So either way, no big loss, but uh, I think it's important to get uh, Laverne in her tip-top shape before she goes on a trek such as this. There's the bird. She got all her shoes off right now, but she's getting all fixed up. Look at her. She still looks pretty, pretty even when up on jacks. Hopefully, uh, we're done real quick and we'll get on the road. So Chris is finally on his way. The um, 
tire has been fixed. We have packed everything we need to pack. We're totally gonna get there late. What's this? There is no surprise. Uh, and if you are wondering why we're taking this one, no, no low, instead of this one, our sandpiper. One of the reasons is how big she is. But one of the reasons is we have not fixed her slide yet, so she is non-movable. We shall. We have an idea of what's wrong with her, but uh, slides are problematic. If you're thinking about getting an RV, remember that. This one does not have slides, but it's definitely got way less storage. So we're just taking her out for a few days. This is the lightest the traffic has been for the last hour. But it says we're not going to get there till oh, 2.20 now. I don't know if we're going to actually end up where we thought we were going. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we've been. And we think our running lights, at the very least, are out on the trailer. Maybe more. But are we stopping? We'll stop at some point and look, but I mean, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah. It's very dark in here. Sorry about that. Bam! What's up, y'all? Yeah. Hey, uh, straight up uh, Amelia Bedelia travel over here. Um, lights out on the trailer. At least running lights, I think. You can be flashing us. There was a nail on the tire. We had a nail on the tire, took care of all that. Had to get the brakes redone. Uh, but we also have figured out that we're not going to make it tonight to our to the, to the Malibu RV park. <laughs> well, we could. We could technically make it early tomorrow morning. And we're not actually sure we have a spot, though, because they didn't ever call us back. They texted us, and they said, we're going to call you. And they never called us. They never called. And then we don't have a site number. So, so yeah, we're going to... We'll have to figure out, we'll figure out what happens next. It's a surprise. Surprise, surprise for you. Surprise for us. Surprise for all involved. Everybody. We don't like surprises. Yep. So people have been flashing us on the highway. We pulled into a rest stop because the lights, the, these lights aren't on. So now I gotta dive into the fuse box and see what's going on. Okay, according to my map, it is 38, which should be that one right there. Let's pull it out. Okay, I'm looking at the fuse through the flashlight. Hard to see there, but it doesn't look broken to me. Maybe it is though. I can't hardly tell. I think it is. So, all right, let's just go ahead and turn that off. Replace it with another one. You have it. <laughs> We're all lit up again. I wonder what took out that fuse in the first place. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Fixed it back on the road. Okay, it is snowing outside right now. I don't know where my husband is taking me. Just kidding. Well, it is a cool time to go RVing, that's for sure. Woo! So it's almost three in the morning, but we're at a spot, it's not the spot we intended to be, but it's a spot. We're at Alamo Campground and uh, Chris is going to pay the envelope in a slot thing that sometimes happens. Walking well, this guy. Got to take this check over to the uh, front, but he is so distracted. It's just like everything smells. Everything smells. I gotta pee on it. There you go. You peed on it. Let's go. We got a long ways to go. Let's get down to that place. We're 
We're really lucky that there was a spot open because it's first come, first serve. We thought about rest areas, but they were closed because, of course, uh, we did get the running lights working. And the, yeah, because first of all, people were flashing us as they were driving by. And we're like, this is probably bad. Several cops passed us and didn't pull us over, which is not our luck. Um, but uh, Chris changed a fuse. And this is why he is with us in this RV life. I love him, and also that's a part of things, but also I just give up. He changes fuses. Now, we need some sleep if we're going to do anything fun tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Lumpy. This is This is a good morning. This is where I come say good morning. It's a first, like good morning. This is how long this is good morning for like 15 minutes. Like, can I have kisses? Daddy kisses? <laughs> Can daddy have kisses? This is for daddy kisses. So, we also woke up this morning and Kat made a terrible discovery. We don't have creamer for our coffee. No creamer. Yeah. No, no azúcar. No. So we can't even do like black with sugar. Okay, Lucifer, you're attacking my okay. food. Lovey is trying to, in the nicest way possible, tell us to get the heck up and take it outside uh -huh. so we can go see what's on this. He's very polite. <laughs> or completely me to me. It's one of the two. He's either really polite or he's Brett Ratner. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So the the plan uh, right now is uh, not not a plan. It's it's just it's a driving need for some coffee. Coffee immediately, and then the world can continue. My wife just informed me that it's uh, 33 degrees right now. It snowed while we were driving last night. It's crazy. Hey, this place though. It's crazy. It's just ridiculous. So, uh, I'm walking the around a little bit. I'm gonna jump on the road, get down to some lower. So we woke up and it was 33 degrees where we were at, and uh, whew, that's just too cold. We now have finished our coffee. We made a st pit stop to this old Wally World over here, and uh, it is now time to move on to some activities. Let's go. And by activities, I mean driving to San Diego. Why? Well, due to the fact that we were unable to make it to uh, Malibu. Malibu. She ain't got the phone and she laughed at you. you. Well, she laughed at us because we don't get to um, go to Malibu. So we're going straight. We're skipping the Malibu day and going mm -hmm. straight to the San Diego, mm -hmm. which uh, according to the Anchorman from Anchorman means whale's vagina. I've never watched Anchorman. You've never watched Anchorman? No. The first one is good. The second one was a travesty. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so we're doing a little drive-in in order to get there at daylight so we can set up and ride our bikes around and, and like kind of enjoy chilling and probably have a drink. Mm -hmm. right. have a, we're going to make uh, some gin and tonicos.
beautiful, serene, peaceful beach is actually It's actually this, it's so windy. You can see the sand pouring off the beach towards you. It's going straight for your eyeball. But we did make it to a pretty dope camp spot. Just to get out of the uh, sand flows and behind something. It's a uh, pretty cool everybody's out here you can see like a uh, cat's bike is the most popular bike right there there's two of them we saw another uh, couple of them on the way in so yeah nice we're here firstly I'm just happy to have arrived uh, the last part where we were in traffic for like two hours was driving me nuts I'm not usually somebody who gives into rage but dang So helpless, you know, and so it's why are you cut me off the ground? I'm in an RV, doesn't mean I'm nobody, anyway. Yeah, that was fun, uh, but we're here, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and get set up and get a couple of uh, gin and tonicas inside the old dome, and then uh, I think things will be much, much better. <laughs> so, we are in Monado, uh, near San Diego, on the beach, beach site. The wind is very strong. Uh, it is bringing the beach to us, which is good because we have learned that no dogs are allowed on the beach. It's sad. It's like, oh, our dog, like, come on. I just bring our dog. Also, we have learned sewage and water, no swimming. No swimming with sewage and water. Yeah. So we're here. We get to get out of the car. It's been a long drive. Um, we're gonna feed the dog. I've just walked the dog, and we will feed him. Walk so I was trying to lock up this lock, and when I turned it sideways, this whole thing just fell out. This little piece fell out too. So. Uh, that's the entire me locking mechanism just plopped right out. This lock is a bad lock. I really think that for RV related things, if you're watching our channel, it might be just to see us screw up. Because we do it a lot. The latest, yes, Lucifer, where you want to? Okay. The latest is that we somehow left the electricity cord, the power cord, the power cord, uh, back at our own RV. So we're not going to have power for the trip. There's lights. It goes off the battery. I don't know how long it's going to last for, if it'll last for the whole trip. Lucifer also doesn't like being in the car as long as he was. I've taken him on a walk, but as you can see, he's a bit needy right now. Um, yeah, that is what it is. Um, we're going to make a drink and, uh, try to calm ourselves down a little bit. We're not happy. Oh, I'm happy. Know we're going to be happy. It's fine. Still got lights. Still got everything else. So it'll be okay. Lucifer. You know what we also have? Gin. Solutions. Solutions. <laughs> All right. So yeah, a drink, and then we go. Just, we still don't have creamer for our coffee, so we're gonna go try to do that. And there's a curfew here, so we have to car get back a car curfew. So we have to get back before 8 p.m. So um, Mexican food. Yes, baby. To traffic, um, 
getting lost and like on the way back and desperately seeking gas on your last oh mile last mile of available gas to almost having to call triple A because of that to to missing out on the opportunity to camp in Malibu to sand storms and sewage oceans that don't allow dogs that don't allow dogs to uh to the Amelia Bedelia's of travel. To the Amelia Bedelia's of travel. Me today. Mm. That's good though. It's a drink. It's being, it's raining right now. Just a little bit. But our bikes are in the back. And it's too windy to put our covers on it. And you know, this is what we do. <laughs> if our bikes are rusted to each other in the morning, it's because they love each other. It's because they love each other like we do. They Let's drink and forget it. Cheers. So we're uh, rolling through this uh, boardwalk area. Meeting other dogs, meeting other humans, get all the views of the babies, riding that bike looking beautiful.